Welcome back Troglodytes to another Troglodytes Guitars video. Today we have a really cool special edition studio model. Uh, if I remember correctly this is a 2013. I can tell you for sure once we see the back of the headstock. But Nashville flooded just a few years ago and destroyed many collections of guitars unfortunately. It was a very sad day. I remember being scared myself. Thinking about my own personal collection, I, I want to know what I would do if I would have lost that at that time. Unfortunately, I was stupid enough to sell my personal collection. So, I mean, I kind of feel for him, but just having all the guitars you have in storage get destroyed, you know, with water, that's very sad. So, Gibson uh, commemorated this, you know, kind of as a way... To show that yes it happened but we're gonna live on we're gonna get through it together so they did this special edition uh, swirl series uh, they have a few different finishes on these this one's blue personally if I was gonna add one to my collection this would be the one that I feel fits the theme of you know the Nashville flood the most because you know the water color the blue and I just absolutely love the headstock on this one. What's kind of interesting is uh, this guitar is a little bit hard to photograph because the uh, the swirl paint, the silver paint, is very metallic. So when you catch it at a low angle, it's more of a flat blue. But when you hit it in the light, it's very, you know, that white color. So this is a very cool limited edition a guaranteed collector's item. Uh, and they've got the ebony fretboard on them, if I remember correctly. But as far as electronics go, it's just a standard studio. But these are really cool ones. Uh, we have the original case over here. Nothing fancy, just a Gibson USA case. Uh, standard protection for it. White interior, so you don't have to worry about it like bleeding into the finish of the guitar. And you've got... Uh, you know, your original truss rod wrench, warranty, owner's manual, and just, I guess it might be a 2011. I can't remember what it said. So, once again, this is a gorgeous guitar. Collector's commission. It's in very lightly played shape. So let's take a look. Once again, I absolutely love this headstock. That's what really sold me on this guitar. I have a real soft spot for Gibsons that are a little out of the ordinary. Whether that means, you know, a unique finish or, you know, just something about them. My favorite model is the Spotlight Special. They have like a neck through design look to them. So this is what sold me on this guitar. And I just, just look at that. That's really cool. I love looking at the headstock because that's what you're kind of looking at while you're playing. So. You got something special up there. Alright, the frets show very little to nowhere. And you got the ebony fretboard on this one. It's in great shape. You got your uh, chrome hardware, which really matches the metallic finish. And there's really not too many scratches or anything on here. Nothing that couldn't be buffed out, but as you can see, even hitting it in the light here, we're not really seeing any nicks and dings or anything. I'm sure if you look long and hard enough, you might find some light defects like that, but as far as uh, you know, condition goes, this is a very good collector's condition guitar, yeah. Uh, neck is a little bit beefier than medium, I would almost call it a 50s style. Uh, sometimes uh, what Gibson calls 50s and 60s is a little vague for me. And there's your serial number. Okay, this is a 2011 model. You got your Grover tuners there. No breaks, cracks, or repairs or anything to speak of. Uh, being a black guitar, you can see where I've handled it. That cleans off quite easily, but as you can see here, no major nicks, dings, or scratches on the neck. The only thing I wish Gibson would have done on this model, which was a little bit of a disappointment to me, 
was I wish they would have swirled the back or at least made it not black. That's my only complaint. You can see it's a two-piece back. You can see the seam running there. But as you can see, even here in the light, you know, you're not having much buckle wear. I mean, it looks like you got the little tiny little beam there, but see, the car is still in very, very good condition. All original, not modified, hardly played. A beautiful guitar. I love that headstock once again. So, if you think you might be interested in adding this rare one to your collection, I would probably do so now before prices skyrocket too high. I'm sure these are future collector's items and they're you know, 30, 40 years old. These will probably be worth quite a bit. Alright, so if you're interested, feel free to contact me on my Facebook page. You can't afford this one or you don't want it you know still feel free to look at my facebook page like it that's where i post all my guitars feel free to also subscribe to this youtube channel because hey that's also where i post all these guitars all right guys thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time